Hey guys, it's IP here, back again today, and today we're going to be talking about some stuff that's happened over the past week that has uh, been rather interesting and rather different from, you know, my usual shit, because hopefully, I really hope this doesn't become a normal thing. Um, anyways, so obviously I'm not going to repeat any of this shit I've said in my past videos about, like, how I'm having issues with, you know, consistently recording videos and whatnot due to, like, motivational problems, but I'm going to give you a little bit of insight as to why, specifically, this past week, it's been a bit difficult. So, specific, without giving too many specifics, the other night, um, I was out with some friends and, uh, you know, just doing whatever we usually do, just walking around and having fun and stuff like that, and, uh, well, I just, like, out of nowhere, there was a massive pain in my chest, the left side of my chest, and, like, it was to the point where I basically, like, I got dizzy and nauseous and, like, practically passed out, could hardly breathe, couldn't really talk, it was really unenjoyable, and I had initially thought that it was just something like, oh, I'd pull, somehow managed to pull a muscle, um, in, like, in my chest or something, I, I don't know, like, I'd twisted wrong or been sitting funny, and it had just been, like, it had finally decided to just be like, you know what, bitch, fuck you, suck a fat cock, and die. But no, that was not the case. Um, so anyways, but at the time, that's what I thought it was. And so I, uh, you know, kind of ignored it. I just sort of dealt with it and I headed home a bit early and, you know, that was that. So I lo later found out that, like, that, well, later, I, by the next day, I went uh, in to um, get it checked out to see, you know, if it was actually a problem, which I honestly didn't think it was. Um, I didn't really assume that it was. I, I, it had started to die down. There was still some pretty significant pain when I inhaled really deeply, but that wasn't like something that I was particularly worried about. So I just figured I would get it checked out and my uh, parents also wanted me to get it checked out. So they kind of forced me to. I wasn't going to actually go in to get it checked um, if it wasn't for the fact that they had made me and it's probably a good thing that they did. So anyways, went in. Um, there to the doctor they made a few different like guesses as to what it could be and they're like okay whatever we're gonna just make sure that it's nothing serious and you know do like an x-ray and ekg and stuff like that to make sure you're not like having heart problems and stuff like that um and basically what happened was uh i did the ekg reading or test or whatever um they found some funny like re they got some funny readings from that which were i guess alarming um, so I got sent to the hospital or the emergency room to go get that f figured out so to make sure there was nothing actually like imminently going to kill me in the process of that happening they did another EKG reading were not worried about that then did an x-ray and found out that the pain that I had felt the night previous was in fact part of my left lung collapsing and that it was uh, when I was breathing in and the lung tried to reinflate the collapse part it was pushing on air that was trapped on the outside of the lung causing pain and also preventing the lung from actually healing correctly and if not treated could potentially lead to the collapse of the rest of the lung which is pretty unpleasant if you uh you might imagine so anyways from that uh it basically turned into either oh what do we do wait for it to heal itself um like naturally just sort of you know monitor me overnight and see if it you know eventually heals itself the air dissipates within my chest and you know heals itself or you know plan b which is end what ended up happening unfortunately um insert a tube in my side all the way up to the spot where there was a you know the air trap in the lung or like outside the lung i should say it wasn't actually in the lung um and drain that out overnight and then you know allow the lung to reinflate into the void left where the air was and see if it would go well from there well that's what they ended up doing Unfortunately, it was really rather unpleasant, as you might imagine having a foreign object inserted into your chest is not super enjoyable. I mean, I would maybe give it a 2 out of 10, maybe, I mean, that's giving it the benefit of the doubt, like that's being generous, that's kind of sugarcoating it. Wouldn't really do it again, would not suggest it um, to any of you, um, so yeah. Now that begs the question, um, you know, why did my lung collapse? Like, what caused it? And that's, you know, where the story even gets better. So basically, there was no reason. And I'm, I wish I was exaggerating, but there was basically no reason. It's just something that commonly, or not even commonly, it's 18 in every 100,000 people that have this happen where, uh, due to my body type, me just being, you know, tall and skinny, 
Um, it's something that happens to people like myself, and there is no real reason for it. It just sort of just sort of happens. So, from this point, um, obviously, like over the past week or whatever, I mean, technically, it happened like a few days like it happened like four or five days ago now and i've been kind of recovering from that uh since then and i not that i have been incapable of playing video games and talking but more so i've just been you know trying to enjoy myself while i've had time off work because i haven't been able to work and um i so i've just sort of been relaxing and whatnot not to say that playing video games and making videos isn't relaxing but um you know it just it is what it is i've just been trying to make the most out of you know the free time that i have so yeah i'll be heading back to work actually in the next couple of days so i will hopefully also be getting back on uh like you know making videos more regularly and uh yeah so just felt you guys should you know know what was going on not that you probably give a shit or anything but you know it's it's fun not really it wasn't fun at all i don't know what the fuck i'm saying it was rather painful and unenjoyable but hey you know shit happens <laughs>